Yes, you! If you like what you see, please hit the like, subscribe, share button, click the bell to all notifications on. If you want to know every single time I upload, I play video games, I do funny videos, I am an absolute crazy ranting crazy person. Please share to Twitter, Facebook, blogger, I still don't know what the crap blogger is. And enjoy the video. We need to warn consumers. Yeah, because that's not going to be misused at all now, is it? Hello, everyone. I am waiting for the aliens to land so I can get off of this planet for once and for all. MechaRandom42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. Trying to get some Fall Guys in today. I've been playing season two. I played some of this last night here on YouTube. Definitely check me out here or on Twitch. Random game. No, I changed it. It's MechaRandom42 over on Twitch. This isn't going to be like a fun, funny, hilarious video. This is going to be a bit of a rant. I'm probably doing it in one take. Not a lot of edits or cutaways or brie bombing or any of that crap. If you do like my content, you know the drill. Share it to anybody, anybody who will listen. This stuff really, really has me concerned, right? So this Yelp stuff. Today we're announcing a new consumer alert to stand against isms. And, you know, that's not a bad thing. People don't want to be against anybody who looks differently or thinks different or thinks differently for that matter. You know, idic, infinite diversity and infinite combinations, all of those things, right? You know, where, where you have diversity of thought and people who might you might disagree with people you might disagree with, but they're free to have their opinion. And they're free to think whatever they might think as much as as disgusting and as insulting and as idiotic as it might be. And the problem that I see with this is once we start forcing people into this mindset that they can't even think something, because we already have backlash. If you say something that, that goes against what society deems acceptable, you're going to get clapped back for it. Oh yeah, you will. Oh yeah, you will. If you say something, people are going to demand apologies no matter what. So we already have some, some self-check systems in place for a lot of this stuff. What I don't like is what's going to stop people from misusing this? Because we are in a society in this day and age where people, all you have to do is be accused anymore. Look what happens. Look what's happening in the media and the world around us. So maybe they should just stop already. Maybe that's what they should do. Maybe they should stop and let people have their own opinions. Because when people have their own opinions, that's how we exchange ideas and understand different points of view. Instead of all this silencing and crap. That is what I'm concerned with. Now, now it's a, it's a, another case... Oh, it's another case of your heart's in the right place and your head's up your own backside. And I don't want to do a cutaway. I don't want to do another take. That's what it feels like. Your heart's in the right place. Your head's up your own ass on this one, Yelp. Again, again, right? Because I don't trust the people who, who use these things. I really, really don't. Look, look at what happens. And, and I'm sh I was going to go grab all these cutaways and stuff. No, I'm going to upload this as it is because I just had to rant about it for a second. South Park, South Park, the episode where they're dealing with all the Yelp people thinking that their, their shit doesn't stink and that they can go into any restaurant and demand special treatment because, oh, I have a Yelp account. That was one of the problems. Everybody's now a critic. Everybody's Gordon effing Ramsay, right? And what does South Park say? Oh, enjoy your boogers and gum. And they had a whole song about it because they're hilarious and awesome and way smarter than I am. And this is the problem. This is the problem. It all kind of goes back to the whole... I, I quote him a lot, and you can't see him anymore. St. Carlin. I used to have him over my shoulder. Your average person is stupid, right? And 50% of the people are stupider than that. That's what he always says, anyway. And I don't trust handing over something like this. Because what happens? You're, you're accused of something, and then all of a sudden, you get an angry mob showing up. Don't show up to anywhere. Go home. Play some video games. It will pass. This is their first world problems a lot of people are upset by. And without context, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. And they're going to insert that into anything you, you feel is relevant. And that's what that's the point of this. We're all going through a lot of crap. We've been through 2020. We're all going through 2020 right now. The world says, hey, y'all need a timeout. You need to take a minute. You need to stop. We're all going through. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. You're just going crazy. And that is what I'm concerned with in this. 
Because I can make an informed decision based on reviews and things. I don't think I need an angry hate mob of people who assume everything is istinphobic when it's not. Let's say, let's say you're somebody like me and has said that things like Star Trek Discovery haven't been very good lately. Let's say you're one of those people and you don't even have to mention anything. You don't even have to mention the ethnicity of anything before you get the little angry mob of reen crazy people going, re you're an ist, you're a phobe, you don't like this. And then they yell constantly because they don't listen to anything you have to say because nobody actually listens. Like you do. You're here on this channel. You guys do. That is what I'm super concerned with on this thing. And yeah, I, I was going to do fun things all day today and take my mind off the world. Then I saw this crap come into my feed. Egregious racially charged actions. Uh-huh. What, 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 is, what does that qualify as? What does that qualify as? Not hiring a token person based on their label? Is that what it is? What, what are your definitions of it? Does it even say? Communities of all turn to Yelp. Now, when the business gains attention for reports of ist conduct, Yelp will place a new business accused of ist behavior on alert. On alert! Say, what, what happens when you just disagree with somebody and you use this just to hurt them? That's what I'm concerned with because I don't trust humanity lately. I don't trust a lot of how humanity is going with this righteous, almost religious mentality they have with their we're right and we don't listen to reason and we don't listen to facts or logic we assume this of you therefore it is true and that is what scares me so much about this and i'm going a little woo on you i'm going a little crazy we might have to go back into the fields for all we know are they harbingers of world change no they're not going to be a harbinger of world change they're not going to be anything and i said i wasn't going to do a lot of clips or cutaways I am, I am concerned, I am concerned when we allow this sort of, this sort of censorship, right, this sort of censorship, because yes, obviously, in the cases of actual, actual, and there's, there's probably what, like a dozen of them still left, because they're all about 80 years old, of actual bad guys in white hoods who go around doing really, really bad, there's, there's about there were a handful of those guys. I thought we were getting rid of them mo mostly since they were all dying out and the world was evolving and changing. Oh no, apparently everybody, half of the country, everything from math to science to having an education to doing well to spelling correctly is istinphobic. This is why I am concerned. This is why I'm crazy. This is why I'm ranting about it. Because you have the lowest common denominator of children who need they need cushions on everything. They need rounded walls on every corner because they're so dumb. They're going to go and sit there and constantly bash their heads into the corner of a wall instead of going around it because that's the mentality of people lately. Not you guys. That's why you're here on this channel. I said I wasn't going to edit, but I forgot one thing. What happens when a lot of people do dogpile and target businesses? Are, are Yelp going to be held accountable? Are they going to be an accessory to basically slapping a giant bullseye on these small businesses, whether they are, and, and they're not even, they're not even proven to be these things. This is just a report from a bunch of wackadoos online, you know, and, and I've, like I said, I've been dealing with them all day. When did we, as a society, I, I just have one question. When did we as a society decide that Gladys Kravitz was an inspiration? It was somebody to be like, when did we decide that everybody needs to go around looking in everybody's windows going, oh, witch, 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 oh, witch, witch. Only, only in this instance, it's all, oh, you're a racist, you're a racist, you're a racist. When did we decide that that was an aspiration? When did we decide that the most unlikable, annoying, buttonsky people who have to go around authoritatively imposing their will on everybody else 
like it's their business or anything? When did we decide that that was an okay aspiration in society? When did we decide that that was something we wanted to be? When did we decide that that was okay? That that was perfectly acceptable conduct? When did we decide to not tell these people to shut up, mind their own damn business, go about their day? If they don't like it, they don't have to police the world. They, they don't like them so much. Maybe they should stop trying to be them. Just saying, just saying, this is me going off on a rant, because like I said, I've been getting slammed with nothing but people coming after me all day about Star Trek, because I dare have an opinion that they disagree with. Oh, gee, imagine, imagine being somebody who expresses an opinion based on repeated, repeated experience. I'm going to go off on a Star Trek ta tangent for one second here, forgive me. These people decided that because I said the Janeway show is probably going to be bad because it has Alex Kurtzman still behind the scenes and it is just a giant cash grab of a show, doesn't really matter in the Star Trek universe. It is doing nothing but to extend the contracts there and we know that. The people decided, oh, imagine being trolling a TV show before it airs. Well, imagine being so pathetic and weak-minded that these people need to see a TV show before before they know it's going to be bad, even though we've had years and years of bad Star Trek. There's no reason to assume it would be any different. There's no reason to assume any other, other way. But no, these people just decide to take it upon themselves and correct you, correct your opinion because they don't like it. Just because they don't like it and they disagree with it. Rather than, I don't know, spending time making their own opinions about things, rather than making their own thing to compete with something they don't do that they just want to attack and attack and attack and attack that is that is why i am concerned about this because i know how hate mobs work i've dealt with a few of them in my day i've dealt with a few of them because being somebody who is kind of controversial sometimes somebody who does rant who's somebody who doesn't recite back the same old cookie cutter bs garbage opinions that everybody else does uh-huh that, that's why, that is why I know exactly how these mobs think because I deal with them every day. This is what I'm concerned with. When you put a target on somebody's back, people are going to go to it. When you do that, Yelp, I hope you're happy and I hope you get whatever's coming to you. Not that I condone or endorse or any of that stuff. I am MechaRandom42 and I am going to try and play Fall Guys with the rest of my day. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! Hot left, wackadoo hate mobs! 525,600 spin-offs! Ah!